Okay, well, what is, what is going on, guys? We're about to go ahead and get into a video on basically my Ancestry.com test. I got a, I did 23andMe. And so I'm just do like a little quick kind of breakdown if basically that's something that you guys kind of like. I'm pretty sure somebody out there will probably like this. So basically, I'm about to just go into my um, my, uh, my Ancestry DNA. So basically, it turns out that I'm, I'm African American, so I, I have 80% uh, Sub Saharan African in me. I have 18%. Uh, European and I have like about at least one percent. I think it might be a little bit more, but like at least they, what they detected was at least one percent. So for Sub-Saharan African, I have seventy percent West African, so seventy seventy point nine percent West African, which I guess is somewhat of a good uh, synopsis. Okay, so um, I'm thirty two percent point thirty two point one percent. Ghanaian, Liberian, and Sierra Leonean. And then I have 26.7% uh, Nigerian, which makes sense because the whole African-American thing. Uh, I'm about 44% Senegambian, 8% broadly West African, which makes sense. Uh, I'm 9.1% uh, Congolese and South, uh, uh, Southern East African. So I have a tad bit of Congolese in me, I guess. Um, I have 7.1% Angolan and Congolese. I have 0.9% uh, Southern East African, which, may, uh, which I'm guessing that's like in Kenya or someplace. Uh, I have 1.1% broadly Congolese and Southern East African. And then I have 0 03 broadly uh, Sub Saharan African. Then for the European area, I have uh, Northwestern European, which is 17.1%. I have 13.8% British. And then I have about 1.1% French and German. I have about 2.2% broadly North, uh, Northwestern African, uh, I mean, uh, Northwestern European, which I'm, which that would be in Russia, I, yeah, that'll be in Russia, like close to Russia. And, uh, oh, no, no, that wouldn't be Russia, that would be, I don't know. But, um, then Southern European, which, uh, I have seven point, I mean, 0 0.7 percent. Then I have about 0 0.7 percent Italian. I think that that's probably just African, but I'm not too sure about that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and then like 0 0.2 percent, uh, broadly European, which I don't know, could be less if they like once they updated or something, I don't know. And uh, then basically right here, uh, I have about, when it comes to the East East Asian and Native American, I have, I'm 1% Chinese, which I think, which I have a Native American person in my family, so I think that, that might be Native American instead of it being Chinese. But uh, I have 0.4% uh, Filipino. Indonesian, I have a uh, 0.4% broadly Chinese and Southern and Southern East Asian. Uh, that's like 0%. That's like, I'm a 0.2%. And I have 0.2% Native American, which I thought the Native American would be higher because I had a Native American person in my family. So yeah. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, this is the whole area that it is. Uh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Then like 0. 0. 0.6 un unassigned. Then I'm gonna go, go to my haplogroup. group. You guys see right here, my uh, my maternal haplogroup group is uh, hold on L3B1A, which that's from the Bantu expansion, I'm guessing. And yeah, you guys can read all that if you guys want to. You guys can pause it and read it. And let me go back. Um, then my paternal haplogroup group is. I'm in EZ5994, which I'm guessing it branched off from A, went to D, went from e, uh, EM96, went all the way down, and then also even another person who, who shares the same haplogroup group with me is uh, Pharaoh Ramesses III, which I'm guessing that's which, yeah.
And if you if you see basically the specific haplogroup, if you basically want to stop and read it, it's very common in like Africa, in like the Middle East and places like that. So it makes sense. So yeah. Let me go. To, actually, let me go to traits. So it says, so back hair it says I'm like okay. I have a 67% chance you have little or no back hair. So, yeah, I have no back hair, so that makes sense. Uh, so, so I have a 90, 90, uh, I have a 92, uh, 92% chance of have uh, of chance you do not have a bald spot, which I don't, which I'm kind of younger, so I mean, I wouldn't have a bald spot at least right now, but I have an 8% chance of having a bald spot, so yeah i have at least close to about a 50 50 percent chance for having no dimple but i mean you never know that could like turn in either way which i do have a dimple i have one dimple so so yeah uh cleft chin chance you do not have a cleft chin so i don't at least i don't think i have a cleft chin at least a tad bit um So there's like a 52% chance that I've had danger. I guess I probably had like a little bit, I don't know. Um, chance for me having a detached earlobe, which I believe I, I believe is detached, I, I'm guessing. But uh, what's it called? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's detached, so it's about 80% detached, 80% uh, chance of it being detached. Uh, I have an 81% chance you will not experience hair loss or thinning before age 40, which I, I'm guessing that's pretty cool. I mean, that seems pretty accurate. I don't think anyone in my family really loses hair like that. So, yeah. Um, earwax type. 98% uh, chance you have wet, wet sticky earwax, which I'm guessing I do. I, I, think, I think I do, I guess. And also, looks like I have... When it comes to my eye color, it, it turns out that I have a, I have a thirty-one percent chance dark brown eyes, which I believe I have dark brown eyes. I'm not too sure. Uh, twenty, uh, twenty-four percent chance of having a dark hazel eyes. Eighteen percent chance uh, light hazel eyes. Fourteen percent chance light brown eyes. Eight percent chance of green eyes, and three percent chance of greenish blue eyes. And then a two percent chance of having blue eyes, which I, I guess I had a two percent chance of having blue eyes, which I have. I'm guessing dark brown. It's somewhere between, yeah, probably dark brown. And then finger length a ratio. Um, chance your ring finger is longer than your index finger. Um, I think it is. I don't know. It looks about a little bit longer, so I have a seventy-two percent chance of. It, of my ring finger being a little bit longer. Um, freckles, I have no freckles, so I have like a 16% chance of having a lot of freckles, which I don't think I have any freckles. Uh, hair pho photo bleaching, which my hair does kind of change color in the sun sometimes, so I said there's a chance you do not have experience, what well, you did not experience hair photo, photo bleaching. And I've experienced that a tad bit, but not so much. If you guys can see, my hair is pretty, still pretty black. So, yeah. Um, hair texture. Uh, slightly wa slightly wavy hair. Um, which is a thirty nine percent chance. Which, I mean, you can you can if you guys can tell, my hair is not. My hair is not wavy. My hair is like curly. So I mean, twenty six percent chance of wavy hair. Uh. What's it called? 13% uh, chance big curls. 7% uh, chance small curls. 1% chance very tight curls. Which I think I would be in the... I'm not sure. I don't know what grade my hair is. So I think it's like... I would say I'm probably about at like... Probably at the 1% chance. At the very very tight or the small curls. Something like that. I think. I'm not... I'm pretty sure that this isn't considered wavy. But I don't know. Um... Lighter dark hair, so 
I have a 67% chance of having dark brown hair. Oh, that's weird. Maybe if I look closely at it, maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it is brown. Maybe it's just really dark brown. I don't know. But uh, I have a 16% chance of having black hair, 15% chance of having light brown hair, which my hair is, you know, obviously black. But um, chance of having bl uh, dark wait having dark blonde hair and then uh, chance of having light blonde hair, which is like 1%, like a 1% chance. Uh, newborn hair. Uh, okay, chance you have uh, had a lot of hair at birth. I was a 55% chance of having newborn hair. Now red hair, I have a 5% chance of having red hair, uh, CM pigmentation. Maybe, maybe I am this color. I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm that color. I think I'm a little bit darker, but, uh, it says 58% light brown skin, which I think I'm, I think I'm darker than that. I don't know. Maybe it's just the color and I don't know. I think I'm, I think I'm a little bit darker than that. Um, stretch marks, chance you have, you do not have stretch marks, which I think I have like a couple, I don't know. But, uh, toe length rate ratio, um, chance you have a longer second toe, uh, I have a 60, 61% chance, which I don't think it is, but I'm, but I'm not too sure. Um, a unibrow, I'm pretty sure I don't have a unibrow. So 50, 55% chance you have a little bit of a unibrow, which I mean, obviously but at least I don't think I do, unless I might have like a little bit of hair in between my, my head or something. I don't know. Uh, widow's Peak. I don't think I have a Widow's Peak, which chance you do not have a Widow's Peak, which is like 67% uh, chance. So, yeah. It's also kind of weird because I'm, uh, I'm actually a musician. I'm not sure if this is just wrong or something, but uh, maybe maybe I can't hear. But it says that I'm less likely to be able to have per, per uh, to have uh, to have musical pitch so i mean i i'm well, at least me personally i've never really had a problem with it at least that i know of but um i don't know maybe i might have a uh, bad musical pitch i don't know but yeah that, that ends the video guys and if you guys want to see more videos like this just go ahead and comment and subscribe and we'll go ahead and uh, get into my next video go ahead and make sure you watch my next video I stay safe mm -hmm.